What's good? What's good, everybody? It's your boy Quay Price back with Coco over here. Man, what's going on with y'all? So we about to do a little review. We reviewing the pop the balloon today. So yeah, why don't y'all ride with us for a minute? We're gonna get on into this. Hi. So with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Radesha. Radesha, how old are you? I just turned 29 this week. Hey, happy birthday. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And uh, what do you do? I am a travel nanny. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Travel. Okay. Um, I'm really big on sound bowls. I love like frequency sounds, okay. yoga. Um, and, and eat. I love okay. to eat. Okay. <laughs> All right, now, uh, what are some things you look for in a man? Mm. What do I desire in a partner? Mm -hmm. I can do a few M words. Definitely a man. Mm -hmm. um, masculine, mature, marriage minded, um, mentally stable, nice. um, and great music taste. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? I would say excessive drinking, mm -hmm. um, smoking, um, not motivated. Okay. That's about it. <laughs> okay, got it. So we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up pop there. Let's start right here. If we can have your name and age. Hello, I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, Robert, how old are you? I'm 29 years old. And what do you do? I own an AI company. Cool. So why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, she seems a little too shy for, mm -hmm. for my... Uh, I like a little bit more, you know, out, you know, outspoken. Okay. But I love your energy. Thank I you. love that you're a travel nurse. Nanny. Nanny, sorry. Mm -hmm. Travel nanny. <laughs> right, so... Uh, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. All right. Now, is Robert someone that's your type? No. <laughs> I would say no. Okay. Just based off the fact that he said I wasn't, like, giving the energy that he liked, I literally just walked out. So I'm going to say no. <laughs> okay. Got it. Let's go on down here to our next pop balloon. Your name and age? I'm Jason, 28. Jason, what do you do? A couple of different things. I'm a professional drummer, luxury design consultant. I have a marketing design firm as well. Very cool. So why did you end up popping your balloon? Beautiful lady. Um, I actually love your energy. Thank um, you. But it was like the yoga frequency thing. Yes. I'm a, a Christian and I'm like very strong in my beliefs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that kind of lines up. Uh, man, let me say this, man. I keep um, hearing dudes saying this, ladies. Y'all might need to take note. Yeah, a lot of these dudes today seem like they're not feeling all this this uh, spiritual mm -hmm. universe. Goddess. Yeah, yeah goddess energy. <laughs> they, they, they ain't feeling all that. So ladies, y'all might need to take note. Yeah, y'all might need to take note. I'm um, a little bit different for me, so that was the only thing. Okay, so yeah. something you're not used to. Yes, definitely. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, so now is Jason someone that's your type? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jason, you got a yes. <laughs> and let me say this too. I just call how she just tried to play my man. My man has a preference and he knows what he likes. Yeah, don't try to play my man talking about this not what he used to. He just don't want to have nothing to do with it. So yeah, we're going to stop doing that. Ladies, I know y'all say the fellas can have preferences. I mean, the... um. Ladies can have preferences, so fellas should be able to have preferences, too. Shouldn't be nothing wrong with that. <laughs> All right, let's head on back. So we have quite a few guys here today. Um, so I am going to actually pass it on over to you. So let me hand you a pick. Oh, wow. Oh, I have better. to pop already? You do. I'm going to give you this, and I am going to have you pop three balloons. Three. Yes, girl. There's a lot of guys. <laughs> it is. Um, just off looks? Yeah, just off of whatever you're seeing, who doesn't really fall into your type, whatever it is, go ahead and pop those three. Hmm. Okay, two more. Oh, this is so hard. You all look great. <laughs> um, pop yours. Okay, and one more. I'm sorry. Okay, you can stay down here. Oh. All right, let's start with your name and age. I'm Lou, I'm 33. And Lou, what do you do? I'm a audit manager in financial services. Okay, very cool. So why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, just on first glance, she passed the visual test. Okay. <laughs> All right, so why did we end up popping his? I just think um, the overall look, like this is how I dress like 80% of the time. I'm either in heels, a nice gown, um, and or barefoot, but I just didn't think we matched well. Man, y'all ain't gonna let me get through this review. Ladies, why do y'all keep popping on dudes because of the clothes they got on on the show? Like, this dude can't go home and put a suit on. He can't go home and get clean. You can't take him or go shopping with him and, and tell him what to pick out or, or suggest something for him to pick out. Like, why do y'all keep passing up on possible companions, possible husbands, because of what he's wearing on this show? Also, I'm trying to figure out what, I mean, I guess 
they're supposed to dress like they're going on a first date. What's wrong with what he's wearing? It's a it's a collar shirt. Um, okay, maybe she doesn't like the pattern, but it's a collar shirt. I haven't seen the pants. But they look like they might be slackish, khakiish type of pants. But I mean, I guess for a first date, how should he dress? And I, it's Cap that she dressed like that. She says she's a traveling nanny. Right. She's not dressing in heels and and, and gowns ninety percent of the time. I don't believe that. But you know. nah, no, nah, we we know better. We know better. <laughs> But that's thinking. Yeah. You're handsome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then oh, right here. <laughs> Your name and age. Seku, I'm thirty. Seku, what do you do? I'm a singer. I'm a bartender. Mm. So why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. thank you. Straight to the point. Yeah. All right. So why did we end up popping his? Just, just once again, the style. Handsome. I love your name. Um, just, I, if we were to go out, I think I would just be a little bit overdressed for you. I respect that. Still beautiful. Thank you. And then there was one more down here. Your name and age? Hi, my name is Brian. I'm 33. Uh, Brian, what do you do? <laughs> I'm an operations supervisor for a major corporation. I also act and model as well. Dab a little bit in uh, stand up comedy also. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So, why did you have your balloon unpops for her? Uh, visually, she's gorgeous. Thank you. Um, that's pretty much the main reason. Thank you. Yeah. So, why did you end up popping his? Once again, the style. I mean, you should have a sleeve. Oh, not a brother gotta have a sleeve. Huh? I mean, it's a first date. I mean, he's trying to show his guns. Clearly, what you mean? clearly. What you mean? Where's the rest of your shirt, sir? Where's the rest? Uh, of your shirt? Ladies, drop a comment. Any ladies watching this, drop a comment. Is you there a problem? Is there a problem with this man having his guns out? He, he needs more shirt for this show. I think. I think the saying is "sons out, guns out." That's that's the saying. So, ladies, do you have a problem with him not having sleeves on? He need to have more shirt on. Yeah. Okay. This, it's, it's not appropriate. Well, um, <laughs> I just think we would clash, but you're handsome. I love the clean cut. Appreciate you. Thank you. Yes. We did get a pop balloon back over here. All right. Let's get your name and age. Kendall. And I'm 28. Kendall, what do you do? Uh, so I work for a tech company on the hardware IT side of things and also DJ. Okay, cool. So why'd you end up popping your balloon? Um, it's the outfits. Like, you know, I sometimes dress down, okay. you know, so I know we would probably clash on those kind of things. But, you know, she's beautiful. You know, she has good energy, it seems like. So. Okay. Thank you. Got it. All right. So he said he dresses down a little bit every now and which then. Which is fine. Which is fine. The shows that come dressed to impress. Mm -hmm. And like I said, sometimes I'm, most times I'm like this in a gown or like a cute little two piece set. Right. But I respect it. Okay. <laughs> so now it's Kendall, someone that's your type. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Short and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. And then we did get a pop down there. Let's head on over. All right. Let's get your name and age. My name's Agnel. I'm 29. And Agnel, what do you do? I'm a dental hygienist and I'm a uh, DJ on the side. Nice. So why'd you end up popping your balloon? So she seems like she's very heavy into fashion. Yes. I'm not like, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working on my fashion and stuff. But <laughs> like, if I could wear like basketball shorts every day, I would. So. Uh, well, thank you for your honesty. <laughs> yeah, you <got> <laughs> okay, so is he someone that's your type? Actually, yes. I love the, I love what he has on, um, his facial hair, his skin. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what she could do? She could just stop wasting all these dudes' time. So she clearly has a type. Mm -hmm. So basically, she's looking for a brother in the suit. Mm -hmm. So she was checking for the brother down at the end in the black suit with the white shirt. Now she's checking for his brother with the looking like a little blue uh, plaid, yeah, with the white shirt. So she's looking for a certain type of dude. So she could save the time of all these other brothers and just go ahead and uh, you know get right to it. But I know she ain't gonna do that though. <laughs> right, thank you. Okay, let's head on back. I mean, also every every first date, a suit is not necessarily necessary or required for a first date. Right. Uh, I think you can have on a blazer. A nice pair of pants. Um, I don't think you have to have on a suit. Um, but yeah, she clearly has a type. And the type it's interesting though, her type is more so what they're wearing, not necessarily how they look. So that's interesting. Mm, good point. You do not have to walk backwards. Oh, you can great. turn around, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are now down to three guys. Yes. Let's go ahead and ask them a question, see who's more of your type. Ooh. Okay, say we get into um, a disagreement, something you did, it doesn't have to be cheating. Um, what is, how would you apologize or how would you um, make things right between us? Okay, let's start here first with your name and age. Yes, I'm Kendall, I'm 29. I uh, actually just turned 29, so happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday! Uh, <laughs> hello, Lisa. You know? yes. And now, Kendall, what do you do? I'm a personal trainer and I run my own coaching business. And you could just go ahead and answer a question. Yeah, so um, you asked about how do we... How, how do you apologize? How do you make things right if we yeah. get into a disagreement? Um, with me, I like to listen to my partner. I like to know exactly like what the resolution of the problem was. And then based on like my partner's love languages, mm -hmm. like what I know could ease the situation. I like to kind of go out my way to of things that I know like she would appreciate okay. to make things right. That way it's, you know, we're both like at an understanding. Um, I would know how to like 
combat that with like things that she may appreciate, like mm -hmm. I said, love languages, and then kind of go from there, you know? Okay. All right, thank you. Let's go down over here. Okay, let's get your name and age. My name is Anthony, and I'm 29. Anthony, what do you do? So I'm an entrepreneur. I got my own pressure washing business, and I work for a family owned transportation business as well. So if you want to just go ahead and answer a question. So basically, how would I apologize? Yeah, so just make things right between us if we were to get So I don't like to go to sleep on it. So I'm the type to try to, you know, figure out what you like to do or what is something that makes you smile. I know food makes me smile. So <laughs> that's what, you know, apologize. But as far as knowing what you like to do, maybe bring you some flowers, you know, maybe, you know, just get you something to put a smile on your face. And then we can talk, you know, talk it out. You want to hold it out. The next day we can do that. But, you know, try to get it over before we go to sleep. Okay. And let's go over here. Your name and age. Uh, my name is Cliff and I'm 31. Cliff, what do you do? I'm a project manager for a construction company. And then if you want to go ahead and just answer a question. Um, so how would I handle it? Um, I basically, I like to go out. We'll probably go out, do some fun, do some, you know, clear air. Like, you know, let's, let's go do some fun to get that stress and relief off, you know, us. So I would like to do some fun. Some fun that your activity that you like to do. I see you like yoga. So probably like, let's go out and yoga, you know, release that stress. So that'll be something that I would like to do, you know, do clear air, okay. positive. All right. Let's head on back. So I'm pretty sure they want to know, what do you do to apologize when you're in the wrong? I think for me, like, um... He said, just don't go to sleep on it. Mm. But also, I loved, like, catering to my specific love language. And then also me doing the same thing to my man, like, okay. his love language, whatever. Um, and just making things right. Obviously, no one is in the wrong. Mm -hmm. No one is in the right. It's just equal playing field, trying to get back on good terms. So. Okay. Okay, right. With that being said, I am going to have you pop a balloon. Yes. Yeah. Just one. I know. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> I know, it's tough. It's so tough. <laughs> All right. So why do we end up popping his? I loved everyone's answers. His was just, um, if we're getting into an argument, I don't want to just go out and kick it like right after we get into an argument. Like I really want to sit down. I really want to get to the point. I really want to, you know, fix, the issue. fix it. Yeah. So. I agree. <laughs> so why would you have your balloon unpopped? Um, I like some of the activities that she did. I like yoga. That was something interesting that I would like to do. Um, I like that she traveled too as well. So that was actually great too because I love to travel too. So I mean, some of the questions, I mean, some of the stuff she said, it was, it was great. I feel like it, I can match with her yeah. on coming. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and ask these guys another question. If you don't have one, I can have them ask you oh, questions. Yeah, yeah. Guys, any questions for her? Yes. What does happiness look like to you? Happiness. What does happiness look like to me? I'm so happy to go lucky. Um, oh, sorry. Um, happiness as far as an in a relationship or happiness like my own happiness? Like if, if you're the verdict that you would say is like a good angle for you in life, family, house, living condition. Mm -hmm. I think my happiness, definitely family. I'm very family oriented. I'm the oldest of eight. Oh, <laughs> but my no. dad's side. Yeah, on my dad's okay, side. Okay. Um, and I would also say... Like slow, slow morning, slow days. I'm not really big on the capitalism. I'm mm -hmm. big on like having your own business, kind of having your own hustle, creating your own being, schedule. Being yeah. Yes, um, which I do. Um, and just living every day with purpose, like knowing your purpose, knowing your passion in life. And that's what makes me happy. I like that because I live my life with purpose. And I so let me ask this question. I keep hearing something. Man. I keep hearing something. Is this what we about to start doing? Are we about to start push, pushing the, the working man to the side? I, I keep hearing have hey, your own business, entrepreneur, this, that, set your own schedule, all this. Is we about to start pushing the working man to the side? Yeah, but is he not? Is, is he about to not get any play in these situations now? Do he do he not get love anymore? The the, the working man? Right, because everybody's not. Everyone can't be a business owner um, because we need people to prop up the infrastructure of society. So everyone can't be a business owner. Everyone can't be an entrepreneur. And some of these entrepreneur like. I'm, I'm going to need y'all to define what you're classifying as an entrepreneur because, no, for real, like, people are saying I'm an entrepreneur because they do DoorDash or people are saying, you know, I'm an entrepreneur um, because they sell some stuff on eBay. It's like that does not necessarily make you an entrepreneur. You, you can even be someone who does have a side hustle, um, but it has to pro be profitable and it has to have been profitable for you to consider yourself, even then you're just a business owner. An entrepreneur is someone who has a track record of starting businesses, successful businesses, and has more than one. So I think this entrepreneur thing is, is, is kind of cap. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting wild out it's here. It's out of hand. It's getting wild out here. But I mean, that's my whole thing is, is you know, I always like to, to point some of these things out. Don't don't start pushing the working man to the side, like all of a sudden he not, he not it. Yeah, that's not a good look. Yeah, it's a lot of working men out here that are good men that will bring good leadership be good husbands be good fathers and, and and so have you so yeah all of this uh all of this talk that's going on 
and then not recognizing these working brothers out here. You know, we better get that in order real quick. I like to know that, like, within every day, like, I'm striving towards what my purpose is. So I like that answer. Thank you. Right, let's see if we have a question down there. Any questions over here? So I got two. Okay. Oh. Are you, what's your religion? I'm actually more spiritual, but I believe in God. And I also don't really believe in labels or titles as well. Like, I know all my books are the Bible, but I'm not, I don't have like a church home. So yeah. if that kind of makes sense, I'm kind of on the spectrum. No yeah. that. So my second question is, who is a male figure that inspires you and it's not Jesus and why? A male figure? That's a good question. I would say my grandfather, my great grandfather, actually. Um, I love how he loves on all of us, um, including my Gigi. Uh, they're 90 and 92. So. And so it's just great to see them love on each other. I mean, they have their moments. They're a little older, elderly, but that, that foundation is great. We come from a loving. I appreciate it. Okay. okay. All right. It is time to pop. Oh. <laughs> These are two great guys, I know. I know. This is so hard. Um, can I, last oh, names? Please. What is your last name? Oh, you want to know their last name? Richmond. 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 Okay. Do I? Davis. Davis. Hmm. Radesha Davis, Radesha Richmond. You really? Hmm. <laughs> mm. Let me just back up. You don't have to follow me. You're making your decision. It's time for you to pop. <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> That's really interesting. You got this. You got this. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I saw that was really, really it's tough. So, <laughs> so why do we end up popping heads? Honestly, I just had to choose. Mm -hmm. I love them both. Mm -hmm. Their responses, their their questions that they asked me. I just had to pop someone. Mm -hmm. So, Anthony, why'd you have your balloon unpopped for her? Very beautiful. Thank you. I love the dress. Thank I you. I love your responses, the way you carry yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's head on back. Let's head on back. Kendall, let me have you come up here. <laughs> All right, y'all. Any final questions between the two of you? Yes, where you live? Um, I'm come up. Mm, well, Oh, I, like Columbia. I know she travels. Don't forget, she travels yeah, anywhere I, tra she wants I travel to go. quite a bit, um, yeah. but like my primary home base is Columbus, Ohio. Okay, I'm in Cali. Okay. Okay. Like, is that as like, long distance an issue for you, or is I that? I can commute. Can, can you, you commute? I can commute. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Well then, <laughs> my final question: Is it a yes for you for her? Yes. And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a match. <laughs> I'll take this mic. I'm surprised I don't see them together, but what do I know? I'm quiet. I, I, don't see, I don't see them together, I, but okay. I got nothing to okay. say. And you guys can go on off. Yes! Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Brittany. Brittany, how old are you? Uh, 30. And what do you do? Um, I'm a chief of operations at a marketing company. Okay, yes, girl. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm shaking this. and everything. <laughs> now, what are some things like to do for fun? Um, so I hope like part-time um, when I'm not working, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, travel. I like to just be outdoors. Okay. Um, I'm an outdoorsy type of girl. Nice. But um, yeah. I'm so nervous. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, an alpha man, like someone who can take lead, um, someone, like I said, adventurous, mm -hmm. um, funny. I love like to laugh. Mm -hmm. um, someone like very sportsy. You don't have to play necessarily any sport, but you have to like know about mm. like the game, like preferably like football or basketball. But okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, communication. Like if you don't know how to, you know, be receptive and actually communicate like your feelings. Mm -hmm. Like if you, for example, if you're feeling um, mad about something or upset, like I would want you to tell me what it is yeah. instead of like keeping it in. Um, someone who's not confident. Mm. I need like a confident person. I don't want to keep like kind of like, I don't mind, you know, giving you your, your light and like, you know, helping you build that confidence, but yeah. you kind of have to have, it have that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. So we did get a couple pop balloons. Let's go on over there, see where they ended up popping. Okay. Let's start with your name and age. My name is Anthony and I'm 29. Right. And Anthony, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Um, I'm just had to say off of initial attraction. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and now is Anthony someone that you're talking No. Okay. Then why not? Uh, just the way he looks. Yeah. And then we get another pop down here. Your name and age. My name is Seiko and I'm 30. And Seiko, why'd you end up popping your balloon? She's not necessarily my type. She's beautiful. She give me auntie vibes, though. That's why I pop, but she's a beautiful woman, though. Okay, okay, got it. Now, is uh, Seiko someone that's your type? Yeah, kind of. Like kind okay. of. <laughs> well, why you know what's bad about that is I was going to say when she came out and she said she was 30. No offense to her, because I think she's cute. But I was thinking in my head that she looks a little older than 30. Mm -hmm. So... I don't know. I was thinking that. I was like, uh, 
She looks so when he said auntie vibes, I'm like, I get it. I get it. I get it. I mean, he had he ain't had to do her like that, but I get it. Like they got it. Now is uh Seiko someone that's your type? Kind of, kind of. <laughs> but why give auntie vibes? Um, you just it's your tone, your voice. It, it, it's like stern. Like you give me auntie vibes. Where are you from? I'm from Jersey. And I give an auntie vibes. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. My fault. I'm, I'm just. No, you good? You good? No. <laughs> What's going over here? Your name and age? I'm Lou, 33. Okay. And Lou, why'd you end up popping your balloon? I think she's attractive. I like some of her hobbies, but it's just not my type. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Now, is he someone that's your type? Yeah. Okay. And why not? That's bald head. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Look at the bald head. All right. Thank you, Lou. <laughs> we don't know what to do. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> So, so ball head man out the game or something? I mean, what, what's up with the ball head comments I've been hearing lately? I don't know, I've been hearing that. I don't know. I thought, I thought ladies liked, you know, dudes with the ball head. I mean, what happened? No, ball heads not in anymore? I guess not. Ladies, drop a comment. Drop a comment. Y'all y'all not into the ball heads no more? Let, let us know. So it's know. Not, but you know what? It's no, it's funny. It's always stuff that guys can't do anything about. Like, he's not mm -hmm. tall enough. Um, he doesn't have any hair. It's always the things that they can't change. They can't change. That women have a problem. Why, why? Why is that, ladies? That's bad. Why do y'all have issue with things that men can't change? But then at the same time, y'all will have an issue with a man who has issue with things that you can change. Why is that? Yeah, somebody drop a comment. Let me know what that's all about. I, I need to understand that right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, your, your name and age. I got. Hey, my name is Robert. I'm 29. I got PTSD from being bald, man. Oh damn. <laughs> no, no. But uh, other outside of that remark. I love everything about you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank and you. you have a very strong presence. Thank and, you. you know, yeah. can... Not auntie, right? Not auntie. Oh, wow. No, I don't know what he was talking about. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. No, okay, so you no. pop because the bald statement, obviously. Yeah, you know, hey, sometimes oh, you just can't control. Oh, I finally made the connection. These are the dudes that all got popped on. Okay. The gentleman in the in the suit, he was the one that had those shoes on that old girl was talking about. Remember she said uh, something was wrong with his shoes. He said they were vintage. Oh, okay. She didn't yeah, like yeah. Them. She said they were so dirty. these are the guys that all got popped on. That one episode where all the ladies got, you know, they kept popping on the guys. Okay. So these, they brought them back. Because I'm, I'm looking at these guys like, these guys look familiar. No, they do look familiar. So yeah, yeah. that's what it is. Okay. Troll it. So. <laughs> okay, so obviously I know you just said you're not a fan of bald. So is he someone that's your type? Actually, you're actually like really cute. Like I really find you attractive. I appreciate like, it. Kept the balloon. You know, I did say the bald head. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, like it's not like a big deal breaker. You have some balls, and I'm not actually like I said, you're attractive. So. Oh, appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Robert, she said you get a pass on the ball. I get a pass on the ball. She's okay. spilling it on you. Give me my balloon back, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that balloon back. <laughs> Got it. Okay, we'll be back for you then. Okay. Let's head on back this way. Name and age? Kendall, twenty-eight. Okay, Kendall, why do we end up popping our balloons? It's the same, the ball, you know. You're not I'm bald. Going, it's going, you know, it's lining up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the Nats, yeah, great energy. Uh, I love hooping too, so, and I'm very competitive as well. Yeah, I'm I was sports, so, yeah. Okay, got it. Now, is Kendall someone that's your type? Yeah, no, he's attractive. I don't see the ball, though. I'm confused on him. Let's see, tilt down. Maybe we're missing it. Nah, you, you, you good, you good. I don't know. I just okay. four years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kendall. And I think we just got to pop down there. Let's head on over there. All right, let's get your name and age. My name is Agnell. I'm 29. Okay. And Agnell, why'd you end up popping your balloon? I was looking at how she responded to how the other dudes were, you know, critiquing, and I just didn't like it. She seems like she's mean. She's kind of concealing it a little bit, but yeah. So okay. I just didn't like how she reacted a little bit. So. Let, me, so let, let me translate that. Basically, he's saying she's aggressive. That's that's what he's saying. She's she's aggressive. He's picking up on her being aggressive. Um, he ain't feeling it. So yeah, she ain't necessarily mean, but he's picking up on her aggression. That's what that is. That's what the other guy said, though. He said, honestly, guys, he said you're stern. Yeah, no, nah, they they pick it up on it. Okay, so you said you're getting like, that she's like undercover me? Yeah, no, nah, like, <laughs> it, it just seems like she would be very argumentative. Okay. What do you think about that? I disagree, but okay. I don't want to say too much because I might be argumentative. So. <laughs> That scene, but it's okay. It's all it's right. okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's head on back. So we have four balloons left on popped. Let's go ahead and ask these remaining guys a question, whatever question you may have. Um, hmm. I don't want to be like the typical, you know, like main general question. So, um, if you had to describe, well, if you had to choose a superhero that described your characteristics or who you guys are, uh, what would it be? Or who would it be, and why? Hmm. Look at them, they're all thinking. <laughs> okay, let's start here. Uh, Frozone. Frozone. Yeah. Why? One super suit, man. <laughs> Where's my super suit? Well, you know, he's a family guy. You know, he's willing to go and risk his life for the, for the city, for the people. Mm -hmm. He's black, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, it's not a lot of black superheroes. 
Sure. And if you say uh, Black Panther, that's cliche. So mm. can't I like count. Uh, okay. So yes. Frozen. Frozen. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Let's go over here. Your name and age, and so what superhero would you be? My name is Brian, and I'm 33. Um, I'd probably go with the Flash. I'm really addicted to saving time. I get a lot done in a short amount of time, and it's it's kind of my thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go over here. Your name and age, and what superhero? Jason. I'm 28, and I would say Mbaku, leader of the Jabari. That's yeah. That's yeah. Why? Um, his personality is very similar to mine. Um, okay. If you've seen Black Panther, mm -hmm. he's very, very caring of his community. Mm -hmm. Very, like, kind of alpha type, yeah. very, like, brawler kind of type. Yeah. Um, I feel like I resemble that okay. a lot. Yeah, that's what I would choose. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's a dope answer. That's yeah. cool. Different. All right, let's go over here. Name and age and answer your question. My name is Cliff, and I'm 31 years old. Um, superhero, I'll be, uh, say, Static Shock. And oh, I say cool. Static Shock because, yeah. you know, Dreads, me, Locks, fun. You know, back in the day, that was like one of the shows growing, growing up. up. Yeah, growing yeah. up watching. So Static Shock, that was me. I feel like that was me, that character. That was fun, energetic, you know, just good for the kids. You know, someone African-American too as well, you know, with Locks. So that was something that we can watch growing up. So I feel like Static Shock was me. It's dope. Okay. Like that answer. All right. Let's head on back. And it is time to pop a balloon. Out of these four guys, I'm going to have you pop one balloon. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so let me go ahead and hand you a pick. There you go. You. Just go ahead and pop that one. Why not? Right? Yeah, whenever you're ready. <laughs> She's got to pop less shirt. Sorry. Okay, so why did we end up popping his? Um, I like everything that you said. Like, your answers were very, very dope. Um, it's the fit. Yeah. yeah. What's, what's up with the fit? Um, the pants. Um, I'm not, I don't like them. The, the shirt with the cut. Where are you from? Again? Man, come on, man. He need more shirt. Are y'all literally talking about this man in this shirt? Yeah, he's, it's not enough shirt. Come on. Man. We need more shirt. Y'all just gonna pass up on your husband because he got a, got missing sleeves on his shirt. I mean, this time yes. Yeah, let, let me keep going. This 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 is wild. This, this is wild yes. right here. Yeah. Orlando. Orlando. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. I just, yeah. Like I said, the shirt, the pants, shirts are kind of tight up, really tight. Like you're about to run somewhere, but. Yeah, overall. Cool. Yeah, you just did a flash on me. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So, Brian, why'd you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, I wanted to hear more about her. She's beautiful uh, as well. Um, she's got a good career also. So Thank you. Yeah, okay, Thank you. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and ask these guys another question. Um, hmm. If you were on a vacation, what are three main things that you would like to do or like have to do? Okay, let's start down there and come back up. All right, let's start here. <clears throat> My name is Cliff, 31. Um, so vacation, uh, I like to plan stuff. So the first thing I go, I, I like to be in a major of the city. So that's the heart of the city for me. So then I like to do spontaneous stuff. Like I like to go chill at the beach or do stuff that's, um, that city is known for, that country is known for. So like, for instance, like Brazil, I went to uh, the Sugarloaf Mountain and stuff like that. So I like to plan, you know, my trips. Mm -hmm. So I like to do fun things that's in whatever country it is. And then I also like to, you know, sightsee, go, you know, if it's a football, soccer game. So I just like to explore anything that I can in that city in a, in a time. And I like to give myself a week so, you know, I can do everything I can do. So that's pretty much, you know, plan accordingly, really. So I like to do a lot of things like eat, travel, you know, go sightsee, do everything, hike in it, whatever I can do. Okay. I do it all. So that's my three things, though. All right. What are the things you do on vacation? Number one, check out all the local good food spots. I'm a big foodie. Um, but specifically, I like to find the local spots, the so things that are not like things I can get in another part of the world, but like specific to their place. So get in with the locals, see what they like, that kind of thing, ask questions. Um, of course, sightsee. Um, maybe go high, take a hike, sunsets, different things like that, see what the city has to offer. Um, and then I'm, I love anything with water. So boat, boat ride, whatever it is, just kind of get on the water. Yeah. So I got to do that. And our last guy. Awesome. So uh, that's a great question, by the way. Thank you. So the first thing I would like to do is immerse myself in the city and the culture. And I particularly, um, I like a schedule, but I like. Let me say this, man. They're probably putting in some work right here. You talking about how interesting, how, how good that question is, how interesting. Yeah, you putting in some work. It, I don't know, but we think he likes her. Something going on. He putting in some work on something. He did, he did get that balloon yeah. back. It almost felt like he wanted to show her, but okay. I don't know. He, he, right. could, he could be slick with it, but we about to find out. He seemed like he putting in some work, but I'm going to see what he do. When I go on trips, to be spontaneous and um, just go around, talk to the locals. Like the other gentleman said, figure out, you know, what are some good spots to eat at, some local places to listen to live music, depending on the region. Um, and then also, you know, from there, I mean, have you and I time. You know, so you, know, you just, want to define uh, where you and I time is. <laughs> let the imagination run on that one. <laughs> but uh, I, you know, and just make it a magical and, and spiritual and memorable trip. You know that because in this life, not a lot of people take time to really appreciate the little things, right? And just be in the moment. And so that's the first thing I would do is just be in the moment with my partner. 
Okay. <laughs> that was a lot. I know. <laughs> okay, so we do have three guys left. Let me go ahead and have you ask them another question. Um, do any of you guys have kids? Kids. Okay, how many? Let's go down there. All right, how many kids do you have? I have one son. I was married for three years, and yes, I have one son. He's, and how old is your son? He just turned three. He just turned three? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are kids a deal breaker for you? Kids are, kids are definitely okay. a deal breaker. I'm so sorry. Yeah. All right, so Jason, why'd you have your balloon unpops for her? I love her energy. She's beautiful. Thank you. Um, everything she said aligned with, yeah. Yeah, Thank absolutely. You. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's head on back. All right, and then you said you're from. This is one change I think they need to make. They need to ask the question if, if folks have kids at the beginning. Right. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's, it's wasted time to mm -hmm. get all the way to this point, then ask somebody if they have kids, and then once they say they have kids, and you say that's a deal breaker, then you pop them. Right. It's like, y'all done wasted all of this show. I agree. Plus, you, you're you taking away from an opportunity for a connection with someone else right. that may have gotten popped right. just because she had to make a choice. Right. So, or just because he had to make a choice. Um. So, I, I do, I think that that's, like, that's waste, a waste of an opportunity. Get that stuff out the way. Get that stuff out the way in the very beginning. Yeah. No, I didn't ask that question early on. Because like that's said, a deal breaker for a lot of people. Basically, give me your name, your age, and do you got kids? Yeah. Let's go and get right to it. <laughs> New York, New York. Brooklyn, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to ask this because everybody always want to throw this out in the air. Mm -hmm. Is long distance okay with either of you guys? Let's start over here. No, I, I can't do a lot, that long of a distance. It's I'm a very physical person, and yeah. I like to be with my partner a lot a lot of the time. Okay. Um, if it was just a little bit closer, you know, I could maybe, maybe I convince you to move to Arizona. Oh, you're from Arizona? I'm from Arizona. Okay. It's funny, I actually want to move to Phoenix, Arizona, oh, but yeah. I, don't, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Okay. But yeah, it's a thought. Yeah, because the East Coast is kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah, that's what I heard. That's why, I, you know, keep my butt here in the sunny side, <laughs> in the sunny state. Um, but yes, I, I don't, if it was a little bit closer, yeah. I would make an exception. Okay, okay. Um, well, you, can, you can pop it but, if you want to. You can just pop it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then let's go down here. Let's see if he's okay with the distance. Where are you actually at? Uh, Las Vegas. Oh, Vegas. Okay. And how are you about long distance? That's not. You should ask that question at the beginning too. Yeah. I guess I'm a, confused. These are core questions that they need, you need to cover this at the beginning. This should be a part of the intro. How old are you? What's your name? What do you do? Where do you live? And do you have any kids? Like right. those questions should be wrapped up at the beginning, so that we don't get this far into the into the show. And then this stuff come out. That's too late. Also, I wonder what's the thought process because people are not everyone is local right. to Arizona. Right. So what are you thinking when you come to the show? When you say, Oh, that's too far. Oh, I don't want to do long distance. Like people who say they don't want to do long distance. Well, what did you expect when you came to the show? Not everyone's gonna be from Arizona. A lot of people, actually, the majority of people flying in. There's there's very few people who have actually been on the show who are from Arizona. Most people are flying from other states. Right, right, right. So why why is the thought process that you're going to come and not expect to match with somebody that's from a completely different state? That's so that's true. a little weird. It I is. think it is. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, well, I agree. I agree. Not a problem with me. Okay. All right. Well then, any final questions between the two of you? Um. Hmm. If you had to describe yourself using like one word, what would it be, and why? Inspiring. Inspiring. Why? Um. Just the, the things that I do in my life. Um. Very adventurous. Scuba diving. Um. I also cycle. Um. I like to travel internationally. I've been in Brazil, Italy. So I just I'm a very inspiring person. So mm -hmm. that's one word I okay. describe myself. Mm hmm. And what do you, what do you, oh, you said Vegas. Um, what do you do for work? I'm a project manager for a construction company. And how old are you again? You said? 31. 31. Okay. You got no kids? I don't got no kids. <laughs> <laughs> she said, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> would you like to say you're like chill? I'm very chill. Mm. Chill. Because I'm like, I'm not loud or anything, but I am like really goofy and I like to laugh and I like to like joke a lot. Oh, I'm goofy too. Trust me. I'm goofy. I'm funny too, but I'm chill too. I can be chill too. Okay. I'm both. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I can still ask more questions or no. Yeah. No, time, let, me, let me bring y'all back up here. Come on up, Cliff. <laughs> not sure. All right, y'all. Are we good? Any other questions? I'm good. You're good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm still. Um, I don't know. 
she, he just know. gets very calm. So like I'm trying to just figure out like if he like not calm as far as like just like laid back, but like a little bit boring. So I'm just trying to figure out, and I don't mean this, but I'm just trying to figure out if. All right. Wait, what? What? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you saying my man is giving boring? <sighs> ladies, 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 ladies. Why is this boring stuff always coming up? It's just like, her. so this man is over here keeping it clean. Your project manager at a construction company. Got the nice little, you know, slacks and the vest on. He clean. And you talking about he boring? Wow. Like, come on, man. We got to. I'm disappointed. Yeah, let me. See, man, y'all don't be intentional. Y'all don't really be going after what y'all say y'all want or what y'all say that y'all trying to do or trying to achieve. Some of this be cap. Yeah, y'all come on these shows, but it's like you really don't be serious about finding a significant other or, or as y'all like to say, a partner and all of that. You don't be serious. Yeah, this guy is talking like a grown man. And your response is, is he's he could be boring. Boring. Man, come on, we gotta grow up, man. This is no, crazy. She, she didn't know that though before when she could have popped his balloon. She didn't know that. She let him stay there all that time just to say he was born. This this crazy right here. What they call this crazy work? This this crazy right here. Energies would match, you know? Mm. I'm trying to figure out what other question to ask to like okay. resemble that. And I'm kind of stuck with that. All right. Well, then with that being said, Cliff, is it a yes for you for her? It's a yes for me. Okay. And is it a yes for you for him? I'm gonna say no because I don't want to waste your time. Okay, all right. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we'll have you head on back, Cliff. Thank you. All right, well, that is all the balloons popped, but we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's give it up for her, guys. Take the mic. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? I'm Salima. Salima, how old are you? I'm 27. And what do you do? So I'm a mass communication professional. I have experience in marketing and public relations and media okay. as a host. Hold on one second. <laughs> Did she come out here looking like she's about to go to work? <laughs> now, as many times as these women come out here and say that we were told to dress like we're going on the first on a first date. Dress to impress. And dress to say. impress or dress like you're going on a first date. Right. And you come out here looking like you're going to the office. Maybe she just got off work. Maybe she just got off work, so. You try it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. As well. Hey, hey, host. <laughs> hey, hey, host. <laughs> now, what are some things I like to do for fun? For fun, I love to travel. I like to cook. Um and just experience yeah experiences to me is how you get the most out of life mm -hmm. and so it's fun to me got it now what are some things you look for in a man for a man i look for somebody that is emotionally intelligent somebody that has intention um so i would want to know like if whoever i were to match with or whoever i'm talking with if their intention is to marry because that is mine okay um and yeah, solution oriented, mm -hmm. patient and kind. Um, they are, my preference would be that they are already um, sufficient in their career, okay. like established in their career. And yeah. Okay. Now what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers is the emotional maturity. So not emotionally mature, um, not motivated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's all I can think of right now. Okay, no, you're good. <laughs> so we did get a pop balloon. Let's head on over there and see why they ended okay. up popping. Let's start here. Name and age. How are you doing? My name is Robert. Hi. And nice to meet you. Remember your name one more time? Salima, like S Selena, but with the M. Salima. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Salima. Nice to meet you. I love your alpha, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> um, so the reason why I popped it, I loved every answer that you said. Thank but you. I own an AI company, and so right now it's I'm, I'm not stable Thank enough. You. Like I, just, it's a lot of bits and moving parts that's going on. So for me, it's like, uh, it's a wild west when it comes to, you know, business and whatnot. Okay, that's fair. It's a deal breaker, so it's cool. <laughs> so, you know, you have a great rest of your day. Thanks, you too. All right, and now is Robert someone that's your type? Um, I would say, yeah, you're really handsome. Um, I like your height. And as far as like AI, I would assume that's like part of like entrepreneurship. That's correct. So I, I appreciate that about you, but um, yeah. 
Okay. Awesome. Thank you. All right. All right. Let's go back over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, Kendall, 28. Uh, same. Uh, I'm just still figuring things out. You know, I do have a good paying job, but it's not really my passion. You know, I have other things that I'm working on. So, you know, I'd rather just kind of just, you know, just be honest right now. So, yeah. Yeah. Got it. Now, is Kendall someone that's your type? I would say yes. Mm -hmm. um, I like your outfits. Definitely getting sure. sophisticated and chic. Um, as for, I would say yes, but no. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just maybe the attractiveness is not all the way there, but you are handsome and I like your outfit and that adds to it. So yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Let's head down over here. Your name and age and why'd you end up popping your balloon? Uh, my name is Brian. I'm 33. Um, you mentioned about uh, dating with the intention to get married. I wasn't sure if that was in the very near future or where you were trying to go with it. It seemed like it was in the very near future and I'm just, I'm not sure that I'm just there just yet and I didn't want to waste your time, so. Okay, I mean, that could have been a question you could have asked me, but um, yeah. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now is Brian someone that's your type? I'll say yeah, you're really handsome. Thank um, you. Yeah. Okay, and then we got a few down over here. Your name and age, and why'd you end up popping your? Let me say this, man. <clears throat> Let me say this. Some of these dudes gotta stop capping. What's his What's his name? Brian. Um, just Just say you ain't trying to get married no time soon, man. Just say that. Yeah, just say that. Yeah. She She was gonna accept him with his no shirt. So you know what? Y'all gonna leave my man shirt alone. She didn't matter. He had less of a shirt. Let my man do what he do with his She's little, his little, it. his little Mr. Sleeves. Let him do what he do. Okay. Balloon. My name is Cliff, and I'm 31 years old. Um, questions was great. You're gorgeous, but um, you. initially, is the boots for me? Like, I just, I didn't. <laughs> What's really, wrong with the boots? I, I just really wasn't feeling. I'm not feeling the boots. <laughs> <laughs> the boot. <laughs> Man, this brother say he ain't feeling the I'm boots. I'm sick of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, this is what we doing now. You ain't feeling the boots, man. Oh, man. All of a sudden, man, everybody we... in fashion and stylist. <laughs> we doing too much oh, out yeah, here, man. man. Let this lady wear a little boots, man. Dang. Give a pair of boots. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would have went more of like some heels or something, but I mean, the boots, I was just like, yeah, the boots, went, it was the boots for me, but every, you know, the outfit is. Ladies, take notes. It was the boots for him. Ladies, take notes. See, my man just gave y'all that gym. He said, I would have, you know what I'm saying, I would have went with some heels. Fellas like heels, especially a little strappy, little something. They like heels. He just for the office. So, ladies, just, just take note. My man trying to get y'all, he dropped a little gym right there. Jeez. Well put together, but it's just the boots. Okay. Sorry about that. Right. The boots. <laughs> okay. I feel like boots always get dragged on the show. Yeah, I mean, it's the fall yeah, season. It's the boot, yeah, it's. it's <laughs> Boots is, yeah. yeah. Just boots. not for you? Yeah, it's not for me. Okay. No, prefer some heels and stuff. That was Cliff, someone that's your type. Um, no. Okay. And why not? I would honestly say it's the fashion piece, too. Um, This is giving... It's sophisticated, but maybe just, like, not my style of tuxedo. So... That's fine. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And let's head on over here. Your name and age, and why'd you end up popping your balloon? My name is Sekou, and I'm 30. Is the boost for me too? <laughs> it's giving like Mary J. Blige. You do look good though. Thank you. You do. Can't lie. Mary. It is giving oh Mary J. Blige. My God. <laughs> All right now. Some more auntie vibes. Okay, I am an auntie, so that's fine. That's sorry, fine. Sorry. Amen. <laughs> now is he someone that's your type? Um, maybe not. I think off introduction, I like your name, mm -hmm. um, and that would be attractive to me, but. Maybe not. Your your style is a little bit more street looking. Um, Respect. Yeah. So. Respect. Oh, we got a pop right here. <laughs> All right. Your name and age, and why'd you end up popping your balloon? I'm Lou, 33. I like your style. Uh, I like that you like to travel. I think you have some maturity, but you're 27. I'm 33, okay. and so I feel like we're incompatible. Like kind of like age and probably where we at right now. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Now, is he someone that's your type? No. Okay. Um, it's probably just the bald head. <laughs> but um, yeah, no. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, let's head. Oh, all right. Name and age, and why'd you end up popping your balloon? My name is Anthony, and I'm 29. Okay. Just, why'd you pop Anthony? I just felt like you wasn't going to fuck with my feet. 
your yeah, fit. Yeah, my outfit. Because it's kind of a streetwear on a, like, somewhat, you know? Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Because I got shoes on, he had on shoes on. I was referencing more to his hat. Oh, okay. But, um. Okay. You're leaving my balloon back? I would say no. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All I'm right. Sorry. Why not? Bro, how you going to pop your balloon, man? on some streetwear and then ask her should I get your should I get my balloon back you already know she gonna say no, no. come on big fella fellas we got to come on man we got to we got to do better you knew better than that like how your man thought he was about to thought she was about to tell him to get his balloon she, back after he did that I, anyone who pops their balloon based off what someone says to another person you deserve that you deserve that. Yeah, Wait come. till they come to you and tell you because we all know how fickle people can be. And at the end of the day, they might be saying that to that, to that person because there's something about that person that they don't really care for right, right. or not attracted to. But you might be the exception to the rule. So, yeah, just keep your balloon until they pop your balloon. Like, how many times have we seen this happen on the show? Don't pop your balloon. Let them pop your balloon. Facts, facts. <laughs> um, just the physical attraction. Um, yeah, that yeah, you Appreciate seem really it. nice, but I don't like when people already count themselves out mm. without, like, you know, just so it's like a lack of confidence. Just trying to pay attention to what's going on. Mm. That makes sense. Attentive, yeah, for sure. All right, thank you. Okay, so we do have two balloons left. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these remaining guys a question. Okay. Um, my question to you two would be, what is something that you're working on right now um, that's towards your future goals? Mm. Okay, let's oh. start right here. Name and age, and what are you working towards? I'm Jason, I'm 28, and I'm working on building a marketing business. So I have a marketing design firm. Um, I'm a sales consultant, so I do luxury design work, and I'm working on building my own outfit, kind of doing the same thing that I've done for companies, but kind of for my own self right now. So I'm building that. That's amazing, okay. All right, let's head down over here. Okay, your name and age and the answer to her question. My name's Agno, I'm 29. Um, I'm working on building myself all around, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. I literally wrote all this stuff down and I'm trying to tackle all the little things that I gotta do to be a better person, a better future husband, a better father, future father. I ain't got no kids. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay, guys, any questions for her? Good answer, good answer. Do you have a question? Yeah. Okay, let's go here. Where do you live? I live here in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, cool. I'm from here as well. Awesome. What about you? California. Okay, so you do you commute or? I can. Would yeah. you be interested in a long distance relationship? Uh, starting off, yeah. Um, not if it gets really serious. I like to be closer to my partner, rather moving here or having my partner move there. Okay. Uh, but as it's starting off, I'm open to it, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I have a follow-up question for him. So you said you're starting out a marketing business. You already mm -hmm. have like another profession that year? Yeah, so I've been a luxury design consultant for nine years. Okay. Yeah. Awesome, luxury design. I'm into fashion, so I like okay. your outfit. I can see that a little bit. You too. Yeah, yeah. thank <laughs> you. You as well. Thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. Let's go down here, see if there's any questions. Any questions here? So um, there's no subliminals behind this question, but what's your uh, exercise routine? Like how often do you exercise? Okay, so to be completely transparent, I don't necessarily like going to the gym. Um, I, I don't know, if I do go to the gym, I'm just walking on the treadmill for maybe like a good 30 minutes to an hour just to get my, my steps in for the day. Okay, I mean, that's that's fine. I'm not expecting no one to bench press 225, <laughs> but like you have to do something. Is there something that you like to do to be active? Actually, yeah, I do hike. I haven't hiked like in about maybe like the last few seasons of the fall, but um, I do like to hike, yeah. Okay, and uh, no kids? No kids. Um, I think that's it for me. I think so, okay. yeah. Okay. For now, let me keep thinking. Yeah, keep thinking. <laughs> All right, I am gonna go ahead and have you pop one of these guys balloon. Okay, um, I have a, a question. Can of I ask course, go ahead. Yes, do you guys have any kids? Okay, here, let's head over here. How many kids? I have one three-year-old. I was married and divorced my ex-wife, and we have a three-year-old together. 
Okay. I think I know who balloon I want to pop. Okay. Who's are we popping? Yours. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. So kids officer, a deal breaker a deal for breaker, you. Yeah. Okay, got it. So Jason, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, love her personality that she's shown so far, a beautiful girl as well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, all right. Let's head on down. Okay, why do we end up popping? It's the the I'm big on fitness. It seems very infrequent to me. Like I I like to hike too, but I'd be hiking like maybe once. Bro, you just said it wasn't no subliminals behind you sure that question. Did. Then you come back and pop her because she don't she don't run to the gym every day. This come on, man. You should have just said that out real. You should right. That should have been one of your deal breakers right. right now. If you don't work out, I can't rock with you. And right. let her pop that other man's balloon when you knew she didn't have a shot with you. He did her dirty. Dirty. You gonna let like I said, gonna let her pop the other man balloon. Then you slide in and pop on it. Dirty. Man, dirty work. <laughs> dirty work dirty twice work. every other month or so mm -hmm. so for me you'd have to hike almost like three times a week you know what i mean at least three times and i i'm big on exercise and fitness and health there's too many black folks dying from all these crazy diseases so i i'm, I'm trying to stay clear from that so that. yeah okay. let me say that, this though. let me say this my man dropping gems again let me say this I get that. people's this physical fitness is, is, is coming up more and more and more. We have to take our health serious. Yeah, fellas, women, they passing on folks, you know what I'm saying, that's lacking this physical fitness and taking care of themselves mm -hmm. and they, you know, prioritizing their health. Just take note. I, I see it coming. It's already in process. I see it coming. So hiking three to four times a week with a full time job and being entrepreneur, you think is realistic for it's not. It's not. I'm I'm just saying like you have to do something frequently. Yeah, I mean it what doesn't do you have do to, to be work hiking. Out? I lift weights, I do jujitsu, I do Muay Thai, um, I play basketball, like and it's it's on a rotation, like so I do a lot. Yeah. To try and stay in shape. Well, that's fine. You can leave your balloon popped, but I feel like um essentially that could have been an option for like opportunity. Mm -hmm to like put me on to a regimen. I would be interested in like boxing. Stop. Nope, let me, let me, let, nope, let me, let me call your cap right here. Nope, no, 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 no. It's not an opportunity. No. The reason why it's not an opportunity is because it's not already in you. Right. Don't try to put that on my man. See, I, I see what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Don't play my man like that. Mm -hmm. It's not an opportunity if it's not already in you. See, if it's already you in you, and let's just say you're doing it once or twice a week, okay, then the opportunity may be him adding another two additional to that, and y'all can do it together. Mm -hmm. But you're not doing it at all. Let's just keep it above. So don't try to put it on my man, talking about he didn't basically like he didn't miss the opportunity. No, 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 no. He just called it for what it is because he has standards and expectations, and you just didn't meet those. Don't women also say they don't want to build a bear, man? Like, they don't want to build a bear. They don't want a man that they actually have to, I'm not your mother. They don't want a man that they actually have to push yep. to do things. Say it all the time. So it's not fair for you to expect this man to want to push you to prioritize your health. Right. I mean, remaining fit is prioritizing your health. And it's not fair for him to have to push you to do that. This is something you should already prioritize because what's going to happen when he can't go to the gym that day? Are you then going to say, well, I'm not going to go either? Like it, it needs to be important to you, too. And if this is a hey, listen, if this is a deal breaker for him, then we're not going to shame him for this being a deal breaker when you just pop my man balloon because he had a kid. Right. No, that's real. Or, you know, something of that sort. But OK, teach their own. So you want her already to have her own flow. Is that what you're kind of saying? I mean, to, I, I agree with what she said. Like, I definitely probably could have put her on to some stuff, but she already told me to keep the balloon pop. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> so. You sure? You wanted to keep it up? I mean, you're attractive. I love your outfit. We're both matching with the pinstripe yes. and plaid. Um, yeah. I, I, I like fun. yours, too. Thank you. <laughs> like she, said, she said, I'm not budging. Yeah, yeah. I you mean. to leave it unpopped. It's, I mean, I don't have a strong preference either way, but I feel like you counted yourself out already and you didn't seek the opportunity. You just canceled right. yourself out. So let's leave it at that. All right. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay, well, that is all of the balloons popped, unfortunately, but we do thank you for coming on. Thank Let's you. go ahead and give it up for her, guys. I'll take thank the mic. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome. Hi. What's your name? Kayla. Kayla, how old are you? I'm 26. And what do you do? I'm an industrial athletic trainer, and I just started a podcast um, called Is This a Safe Space? Oh, okay. Uh, what are some things I like to do for fun? Um, I love to travel. I like going out here and there um, to like lounges. Um, let's see what else. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Very good. Um, I just like trying new things, exploring the city. So, okay. got it. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Uh, I look for someone who is romantic, nice, um, have to be outgoing and adventurous, okay. and just also God fearing and looking for someone that can be my best friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? If you're not God fearing, mm -hmm. um, if you're not kind. Um, and if you don't like to travel, because I travel a lot, so. Okay, got it. Okay. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's go on over there and okay. see why they ended up popping. All right, let's start with your name and age. I'm Seiko and I'm 30. And Seiko, why'd you end up popping your balloon? She was having a hard time figuring out what she liked to do other than going to the club <laughs> and, and being around a city that sounded like a city girl to me. <laughs> okay. I'm not looking for a city girl. Okay, definitely not a city girl. girl. Yeah. <laughs> I like being at home and I work a lot, but I was just saying like I'm new to, so I'm living in Dallas right now. I'm new, so I'm just trying to explore the city. And when I say explore the city, I mean like trying like, I want to do Pilates, go yoga and stuff like that. Not like club. I don't go to clubs, more so lounges. Word. And I only assume that because you started with lounges. That's gotcha. the first thing you said. Well, a lounge isn't a club. Yeah, I got bad experiences with girls that be in a club too much. So okay, that's a little triggering for me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. So now is he someone that's your type? Yeah, he is. Um, I like the fit, and Thank I think you. you look good. Thank you. I think you look good too. Um, height there. So mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's head on back. So we do have quite a few men today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hand you a pick. Okay. Because it's time for you to now do some popping. <laughs> okay. There you Thank go. You. And I am going to have you pop three balloons. Three balloons. Three balloons based off of whoever's not really your type, whatever it is, go ahead and pop those three balloons. All right. I know it's a lot. Take your time. Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to just start out here and work my way up. Okay, two more. Um, and one more. Uh, right here. Okay, since we're here, let's start here. Okay. Name and age? Kendall, 28. Okay. And Kendall, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, you know, it seems like she has good energy. So I just wanted to, you know, hear more of her answers and questions and stuff. Okay, got it. So why do we end up popping his? Um, I would say just the initial physical attraction. Um, I like the suit though, but yeah. And I think it's just, I don't know. It's just the initial physical attraction for me. Okay. So good. Thank you. Well, let's go down here. You ended up popping two more. Let's go over here. Name and age. I'm Anthony. I'm 29. Okay. And Anthony, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? I love the energy. I love the vibe. You know, got your pedicure and manicure done. And I love <laughs> that. Is, and I love your smile, too. It's a <laughs> smile you. got me, for sure. <laughs> okay. So why do we end up popping his balloon? Um, also, physical attraction initially, but also I like them, my guys, just a little bit on the, like, athletic built sure. side. Yeah, I would just say you're a little, just, little bit just too skinny for me. So, yeah. All right. And then there was one more. Okay, your name and age? Lou, I'm 33. And Lou, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? I was really just hearing her out. I, I like some of the... Man, y'all just ain't gonna show Lou no love. Just Can, can Lou get some love? Dang. What y'all doing Lou like I this? I thought she it's, said she like... Is it because Lou ain't Lou bald? Is that what it is? Why y'all want to show Lou no love? Like, they been popping Lou all day. What? Let, let me keep going, man, y'all. Her interest, like traveling, she had a nice smile, but it was just really hearing her out. Okay. Yeah. Got it, got it. And why do we end up popping his? Um, I'm not really into light skin. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you look good though. Um, and then I guess I mean you're not 
Yeah. You consider yourself bald? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because, <laughs> like, it's like a little bit of hair. Okay. So, yeah. So, I'm like, uh, but yeah. So, the baldness and then the light skin. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We have five guys left. Let's go ahead and ask these remaining guys a question. Okay. So, I'm going to ask describe yourself with three words. Start right here. Name and age and describe yourself with three words. That's a good question. I would say adventurous, spontaneous, and a risk taker. Uh, but does risk taker count as? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, yeah. Those is that are the three. Spontaneous, adventurous, and, and, and a risk, risk taker. taker. Okay. And then remind her of your name and age. Uh, my name is Robert and I'm 29. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let's go on over here. Name, age, and three words to describe yourself. Uh, my name is Brian. I'm 33. Um, I would say three words to describe me, probably uh, fun, uh, passionate, um, outgoing. Okay. Thanks. Name and age and three words to describe yourself. I'm Jason, I'm 28. I would say charismatic, um, adventurous, and real. It's real. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> name and age and three words to describe yourself. Uh, my name is Cliff and I'm 31 years old. Um, I would say inspiring, uh, I'm going to say respectful, and also adventurous as well. Okay. That's our last guy down here. Name and age and three words to describe yourself. I'm Agno, I'm 29. I would say, I hate to say inspiring again, but okay. inspiring, hustler, and goals. Like goal driven. Goal oriented. Okay. That's four words. That's why I say it. <laughs> so I'm going to cut it goal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so yeah, goal oriented, I would say. Yeah. All right. Head on back. All right, what are three words you would use to describe yourself? Um, adventurous for sure, mm -hmm. kind, and open-minded. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So I like to see like both sides of situation. Got it. All right. Well, <laughs> after hearing you know what the guys have to say, I am gonna have you pop two balloons. Two balloons. Two balloons. Okay. Okay, and then one more. All right, let's start over here. Right. Okay, so Jason, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? I wanted to hear more about her. I wanted to ask her questions like with the um, open-minded and yoga and stuff like that. I think she mentioned that. I was had some questions about that, but beautiful girl, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. right. And why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, I'm just not feeling like the shoes, the glasses, just, mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, it's just, I don't really. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank yeah. you. How are you supposed to see? I don't know. I guess we ain't feeling the glasses he got to use to be able to see with. Uh, I don't know. Oh, then he had a nice little loafers on with the buckle. You know, I thought little, the shoes were cool. Little hey, butter soft loafers. He could always do some contacts if he just, you know, if it was just a i don't know yeah the fact that we once be, again something else he can't change yeah the facts that the fact that we be popping on folks like a dude can't go get some contacts and, and put take some glasses off like yeah this is um let, let, let me be quiet then we popped one more over here uh cliff why'd you have your balloon unpopped um her energy was great um i like that she traveled too as well so that was definitely a plus for me so and then that she's adventurous too so i wanted to look and see what more you know what she liked to do you know on her adventurous side so that was why i kept my balloon okay and why do we end up popping his so i like your dress um but i just don't like the way the beard is specifically um and then i don't like i don't know what this part of the outfit the gray top yeah i don't know i what? just don't like it the little pocket chain no oh. well like the gray piece that's on top of the oh uh, his vest yeah that sorry i couldn't get it out yes <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i don't know it's just a preference on the look okay. for like clothes and stuff so but, yeah okay thank you <laughs> <laughs> all right we've got three guys left let's go ahead and ask them another question um so what is like a non-physical quality that you find sexy in your partner? Mm. Okay, let's start down there and work our way back. Okay, let's start over here. Answer her question, please. I think uh, goofy and bubbly. I love that. Like, 
Yeah. Okay. And I don't know how else to describe it. Just like always <laughs> happy and gleeful and, and bubbly. Like a child at heart. Yeah, okay. yeah. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go down over here. Okay. Answer to your question. Uh, for me, probably uh, like extreme femininity. It's it's really nice to be around. It's a really warm embrace, um, and it's just it's good for a relationship and for it being able to last and continue. Okay, thanks. And over here, could you repeat the question one more time? Um, what is a non physical quality that you find sexy um, in your partner? The ability uh, for us to be each other's best friends, for us to talk about anything and laugh and just enjoy each other's presence. Uh, that is. I mean, who wouldn't want that, right? Yeah. So that's my answer. Okay. <laughs> it is time to pop a balloon. Okay. Just one. Just one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go here. All right. Okay. So, Robert, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, well, I'm an athletic guy. I could tell you have an athletic build, and uh, it shows that like, you pick. You know, carry yourself yeah. um, as well. I love the matching toenails with the, you know, <laughs> the nails as well. Um, and then, so that's just physical, but also your answers, right? They were very mature, very straightforward, very direct. Um, so that's initially why I held on to my balloon. So. Sure. Got it. So why do we end up popping his? It's just, I don't know. It, I just <laughs> like the last two guys better. Okay. Um, yeah, it's good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our two remaining guys, any questions? Uh, where do you live? Oh, let me go right here. <laughs> you ain't got no <laughs> mic, Brian. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> uh, where do you live? Uh, Dallas. Dallas. You? Orlando. Okay. You from Florida? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Orlando? Orlando. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just asked um, because I used to live in Miami, so. Kids? No kids. No kids. You? No kids. Do you want kids? Sorry. Someday it will be nice. You said someday, someday it will be how nice. How many? Yeah. There's not really a definitive number okay. for me. Okay. Right. Cool. Let's go down over there. All right. Any questions over here? Uh, what's your relationship with your family, your mom and dad? If you have siblings, what's your relationship with them? So I don't know my dad. Um, well, okay. I had a stepfather, but he died. So I'm I consider him my dad, but biological dad don't know him but my mom is my best friend um i have a little brother we're 15 years apart he's 11. um i'm really big on family relationships um and because i grew up technically as the only child i eventually i want a big family because i didn't really get that but definitely family is a priority for me so that's cool yeah i i got a bunch of cousins so i'm trying to continue that legacy of having gotcha. big families too so yeah right. that's cool that's what's up perfect okay it is time to pop a balloon okay uh, okay <laughs> all right so agnell why did you have your balloon unpopped for her gorgeous i'm a hygienist dental hygienist she popped this balloon, man. Cause she was um, I can see the, I can I see the. I think they might be good together. Nah, I can see the tension. Really? I can see the tension between her and the other dude. Uh -huh. Yeah, when he uh, when she asked him how many kids, and he said it's basically a, a no distinction, indefinite, yeah, number, yeah, no, 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 no lockdown on how many kids. She was locked in as soon as he said that, so mm -hmm. I already knew what was up. So, yeah, this guy ain't had no chance, but. That's what I saw. This beautiful smile, Thank uh, you. nice skin tone, like you got it going on for sure. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> so yeah. yeah. All right. So why did we end up popping his? Um, there was nothing wrong with what you said. Um, I think you look really good. I just am more physically attracted to the other guy, okay. and yeah, I just feel like yeah. Sorry. It's cool. It's cool. Thank you. Okay, let's head on back. There's some Brian, go ahead and follow us up here. Come on up. <laughs> All right. Any further questions? Any final? One final question between either one of you. If not, you don't got force. Uh, I'm good. I just have one question. Uh, are you okay with like long distance traveling? Yeah, definitely. 
That's all I have. So then, is it going to be a yes for you for her? Definitely, yeah. And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a match! <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and take this mic, and you guys can go on up. Make some noise for them, y'all! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. What's your name? Chris. Chris McCall. And what do you do? I'm going to go to Now, what seems like you're fun. Um, I like to travel. Um, I guess I like to go to the same time. It's fun for me. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Now, what are some things that for a man? Um, I'm a man that is supportive. Like, 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 Loving, caring, patient. Where's the new birds? It's. What's too many for you? Four. Okay, so we did get a pop of you down there. Down over there. Okay, let's start with your name and age. I'm Agnell, I'm 29. And Agnell, why did you end up popping your blood? Respectfully, a little too old. Yeah. Okay, but you said you're like a gem guy. Got it. So now is Agnel someone that's your type? Um, not really. Why not? Um, just the attraction. Okay. Thank you. Right here, your name and age, and my gender popping your blue. Luke, 33, and then it's just a physical attraction. Okay. Got it, got it. Is he someone that's your type? No. Okay, why not? Um, just the ball head. <laughs> <laughs> ball head, thank you. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. The shoes. Let me just say this. This might be unpopular opinion. This this could very well be unpopular opinion, but I'm going to risk it. It's funny to me that people who have obvious imperfections will call out somebody else's imperfections, especially when, like I said, it's things that they cannot control. Mm -hmm. I just leave it at that. That's real. Because we all got something. We all have something. Right. So I just think that's funny. But anyways. No, it is. This is what we do. When we stand in a position to critique, to critique others, this is what we do. That's true. That's true. These are a little scratchy. Oh, this is This is crazy. Okay. That's crazy. All right. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Your name and age and why you end up popping your balloon. Say cool, 30, and um, yeah, just attraction. I like mine, it looks like dark and flower. Thank you. Got it. Wait, now, say cool, someone that's your type. Oh, uh, a little bit. Um, not initial, but I feel like um, he's a little different. Makes me more like kind of like intrigued a little bit. I want to know, know more. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll pop over here. Your name and age, and why'd you end up popping your balloon? My name is Angel Twenty Nine. The reason I pop my balloon is because I was like, "Oh, they had this awesome person." Got it. Thank you. Thank you. That was Anthony. Something that you tried. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Why not? <laughs> um, just my initial attraction. Okay. You know, not someone I would ever. Damn. <laughs> you told her you were a sister either. Die. Stop. Yeah. Take my pick too. Stop. All right. Thank you. <laughs> and we got two folks back here. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. 
Uh, my name is Robert, and I'm 29 years old. Uh, I heard the ball coming, so it's like, again, hey, you know, it's a little control. But I love the outfit, first of all. Again, the pink with pink nails as well. It's pink. It looks really good. And I love that you're a there. You have a much better snare. So, thank you. That's it. So he said, he's bald. Made a ball coming down there, but see someone that's your type? <laughs> um, I think that um, he's all right. Yeah, um, I think that initially he's not bad looking. Um, I think that with time and conversation, it could probably, you know, be better, but yeah. Man. Who's... <laughs> Who is she looking for? I, I don't know. They keep making exceptions for this guy, even though he interesting. Because he's an attractive guy. Like he's not a bad looking guy, but they keep he's dressed nice. He's not a bad looking guy. He speaks well, has a good job. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Name and age, and why'd you end up popping your balloon? Uh, Kendall 28, uh, just additional tracks. Uh, sure. Got it. Is Kendall someone that's your type? Why not? Um, I like your suit. I like the shoes all the way up into the shoulders. Yeah. Sorry. But yeah, like nice smile, just not initially. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we do have two balloons left on pop. If I was if I was a man standing up there right now, I would pop every single balloon left. Did she just say it was his face? It's that face. It's that face. Mm. Okay. No comment. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these two remaining guys a question. Mm -hmm. Do you have kids? And if you do, how many? Start with the beard. Name and age. This question. I have a beautiful boy. He's uh, three years old. Okay. Uh, I was married. Divorce. Your name and age. Uh, Jason Twenty Eight. Your name and age. You have a kid. Uh, my name is Cliff, and I'm 31, and I don't have any kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi, any questions for her? Okay. okay. So you said you travel. Yeah. Um, what's the places that you travel to for prevention? Um, I am part Jamaican. I'm in Jamaica. Um, a lot of states in the U.S., um, Florida, Alabama. Texas, Mexico, you know, it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, another question. Uh, how active are you? Like, besides traveling, do you do anything else? Like, active, like, fitness wise or anything like that? Yeah. Um, so, right now, I'm like in the middle of moving, so I kind of like took a pause, but I had a trainer and I was working out know, like this time. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Who will tell her? Oh, I mean, not really. Let me have any questions. Okay. What did you say to All right. <laughs> okay, Charisma, any other questions for them? Um, I'm going to say this, though. I'm noticing something. My man in the brown, he locked in. He does really. He, he seems interesting. He, he, he locked in on the brother in the brown. He locked in and you on know something. Why? I hope you know they get a connection. Okay, okay. we're gonna see. He, he seemed like he locked in. He, he yeah. He locked Where did in. you go wrong in your last relationship? Right. Yeah. Um, for me, I would say I rushed too fast into things. Um, I tell back my ex-wife, she's a great, great person, great mother, stuff like that. It was more so we were young, kind of rushed to things before we were ready. Uh, 
which kind of stopped a lot of progress that could have happened. If we would have kind of taken the time to match the neutral there. Uh, I thought like Dallas was very to be honest with the time. Uh, I was in love, but you know, wasn't sustaining them as I now. I naturally think so. that I thought like it you know, played a big part uh, into other things. Okay. Okay. Um, so my last relationship, I would say patience. Um, I feel like I really should have had more patience with her, you know, with the things that she dealt with in her day-to-day -day life. So I feel like I should have a little more patience. It took a little bit more time to, you know, try to stay, sleep by her side, and, you know, help her out. So I just feel like my patience was, you know, a little bit on the edge. And so I just feel like that's why we probably have that much patience. All right. Anybody else? So I don't have any tattoos. I'm not usual tattoos, and they're gorgeous, but I just kept the tattoo on the neck, and I was like, I got a tattoo. That was it. And I, yeah, I know. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well then, <laughs> Cliff, let me bring you on up here. Let's head on back. All right. Any final questions for the two of y'all? Uh, where are you from? Yeah, from here. Okay. Park Okay. okay. Did that problem? No. Um But she not interested. She she not feeling you, bro. She not interested. She not feeling you. I can tell how she responded. She mm -hmm. she not even feeling you, man. You know what probably just happened? Her man's just popped yeah. on her. That's that's what just happened. That's now she, she messed up. That's the one she wanted. Yeah, big fella in the brown. See, she, she he just popped on her and she just see all thrown off now. So now mm -hmm. fella. He, That's she she, she, she not checking for you, man. She she want my man that was in the brown outfit, but I'm gonna be quiet. It is what it is. I just don't wanna like like match up and make sure I'm not like initially attracted. I think that you're very nice to Right here. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, I got it. Right. I have to <laughs> back. Okay. Well, that is all the balloons popped, unfortunately, but we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for her guys. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single. Don't do it, big fella. Don't do what I think you about to do, big fella. I, I feel it. Don't do it, big fella. Don't do it. I kind of really regret popping the last girl. Can I bring it back? Bring it back? Or, you know, that's the thing you guys can do? Or, uh, she was gorgeous. I kind of popped some bitches. What you think about this? Whoa! <laughs> I mean, no, no, for real. Listen, if he, if it's, if it's messing him up like that, like you know what I'm saying, like he really just sitting in it, like, dang, nah, I kind of like her, I kind of like her. Then he should say something. If it's bothering him like that, then he should say something, mm -hmm. right? Because if he can't let it go, and she done walked off the stage, and he's he's still thinking about her. Then he owe it to himself to at least explore. Okay, we're gonna see what but he do. Why you pop though then? Like what happened? What was you thinking well, at the said, time though that made you pop? He said the tattoo on the neck. He said she okay. had a neck tattoo, he ain't with it. Okay. Let's, let's see what he do. That's good. Hey. <laughs> Can we bring her back? Huh? Hey, so charisma. As you see, we brought you back. One of the contestants did request. You know, to have you back, they realized that they made a mistake, pop it on you, all of that. And it was Jason. Jason, come on up here. So, like I said, this had never happened before. So it's completely up to you if you're even okay with rematching with him, whatever it is. How are you feeling? What's the deal with the tattoos? Because I have about like 10 and a really big one, like plastic. Yeah. So I think it was a prejudging on like what that could come with. That would kind of get me that I'm thinking. I feel like I'm going to judge it too quickly. And I really fancy it. So, yeah. I think you're very handsome too. And I like the big, yes, country boy. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are so funny. 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 Y'all are so
Oh God. <laughs> okay, well then with that being said, Jason, is it again for you for her? Definitely. Okay, and Charisma, is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a man! You know what? Shout out to what the brother. What can I say? You gotta go for what you want, man. Period. You gotta go for <laughs> what you want, man. He went back for the day. He said, "No, nah, I ain't letting he this one slide." Because I mean, I thought they were gonna. It was gonna be them anyway. I yeah, thought they for, were sure, match, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I thought they would have linked up anyway because he was checking for her already with that tattoo. I guess threw him a little bit. Let me. The key is always. Let me see if they hold the hands. That's always the telltale. Let's see. They want to go. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. I go to for weekly. Uh, I don't do it to like slim, I do it for like health. It's good to work out for me though. Um, I like going to lounges, I like trying restaurants, I like traveling. So I'm pretty open. I'm adventurous, but um, anything I'm safe, I'll do. It's not safe, but it's fun, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, what is something to look for in a man? Um, you have to be a bit soft for me. Um, you have to be kind, sweet, open, optimistic. Uh, you have to be, um, yeah. What did she say? Did she say you got to be a little soft? Soft. I need, Is that what she said? I need, I need context. Yeah, she got to give us some context. So now y'all, she said she need her man to be soft. What does that mean? Man, drop a comment if I ain't hear that right. She said she need her man to be soft. Hmm, okay. I have to answer because I love a big thing that can get to me. Um, you have to just be all around like the guy. My communication skills is a plus for me. Um, also, um, acts of services, um, works of confirmation, like I'm really in that. Now, what are some deal breakers? Um, deal breakers is communication, like that is mine. Yeah, somebody clue me in. Where did all this, this, all this love language stuff come from? Yeah, it used to be what you like. What kind of men you like? What you like to do in your spare time? That used to be the questions. Now it's all this love language, acts of service, words of affirmation, all this stuff. Where does love language stuff come from? You you know what this name was? Gary Chapman. Gary Chapman? Who was that? He wrote the book, Five Love Languages. Okay. Uh, I guess uh, shout out to Gary Chapman. But okay. it's like, you cannot have a mean relationship without communication like that. It's a must. Um, I don't like a guy that's like mean or rude. Um, I need someone that's gonna match my energy because I'm really out of the way. Um, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need to have that many compliments. Yeah, so I am gonna have you pop it. And I'm gonna have you pop. Let's go with two. Based off of what you've seen, okay. whatever time we have, whatever time you need, go ahead and pop this. And again, that was fun. Nice to meet you. And Anthony, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I don't know where you were spoken. I looked at your face. It's a lot of good about you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. And why did we end up popping Anthony's? Um, just, I didn't, honestly, the attraction, um, it's not the glasses or anything, because I feel like you're well dressed. I, I wouldn't have done the um, team, so. But, let me What you? Um, maybe like some loafers or you know something that, that goes. Nice. Yeah, because yeah. your shirt is like very very dressy. Sure. Yeah, but you look nice. I appreciate it. Cool. Yeah, this one more down here. All right, your name is H. Lou, thirty-three. And Lou, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I like that she was active. She's well spoken and attractive as well. Thank you. Might have ended up popping heads. Um, I think it's the same. I don't really go for like like skin thin, but. That's it. Okay. But you're very handsome, I promise. Yeah. Thank you. It's nice and... Is he a white guy? Yeah, 
again, they call it even light skin, but I mean, uh-huh. what, I mean, I somebody schooled me. Is a light skin out? That, that's gone now? I mean, we don't mess with folks that's light skin no more? Yes, ma'am. Well, we be talking about colorism, but we don't mess with, with dudes that's light, that's light right. skin. So, I mean, if the dude ain't chocolate or a milk chocolate, then he, he can't get no hollers now? Like, is that what we doing? Mm-hmm. Man, y'all are tripping, man. <laughs> okay. So, we got our five remaining guys. Go ahead and ask me a question. I'll be back up again. Um, how do you show up women, um, like, courting? Because I'm, like, at the age where I want to get married. I'm 33. Like, I don't have time for games. <laughs> So how do you show a woman that, you, that you're interested in, they how to court, like courting her? Like, what do you show her? Man, let me speak on this, because this keeps happening. So this young lady just said that she's 33, she don't have time for games. So how do you show her courting, right? This is why we continue to say that you need to go down this journey when you are younger. Yeah, we we blow away our 20s out here playing around, making bad decisions, doing things that's that's lifelong decisions that change the course of our lives. But then when we get in our 30s, now we in a rush. So now let's hurry up. I ain't got time to play games. Yeah, we got to start going about this dating courting process differently, because, see, when you waste your younger years away, then as you start to get older, i.e. hit 30 and pass, then now you're in a rush. You have, now your judgment is clouded. Now you're making decisions based on, on urgency and, 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 and you feel an anxiety because you feel like you're getting older. I got to do this before I'm this age, you know, before I'm this age. I got to do this before I turn 40 and, and all of this. And then you start making bad judgment and then you put your discernment on the back burner. Because now you in a rush because you wasted your younger years when you really had time to explore and learn what it really was about. So, yeah, man, we got to we got to make a change in that department, man. Or we're going to continue to see some of the stuff that we see. Sorry, you came in age. Yeah, I think it really just depends. Like, for me, it's just like I was going to lie a little bit. You know, we go out. Okay, thank you. Thanks. David H, answer your question. My name is Robert, I'm 29 years old. And the question was, um, uh, how do you um, go about, like, when you're interested in women, how do you go about quoting her? Like, yeah. Okay, so first, understanding the love language, sports modification, and the next being Germany, and, you know, leading, being a leader, right? And, uh, just knowing how to move right now, you know, what makes you happy, what makes you sad, and, you know, being that spiritual practice. Yeah. David Age, and that's what you're interested in. I'm going to 31. Um, I would say keeping consistency, so actually understanding, taking that time to understand you and know what you like to do and enjoy, and also being that gentleman as well. Oh. I feel like they don't understand her question. No, I think... She wants to know how she wants to date with intention because she's ready to get married. So mm-hmm. she's like, how would you court me? How would you court me? Basically, how would you date me intentionally? Like, how would you let me know that you are serious about me and serious, seriously courting me? Right. That this this relationship is heading in a, in a direction that's not just us having fun, just enjoying each other. But we actually are going somewhere. Right. That's what she's asking. And they're saying, oh, how, they're telling her how she, how they'll treat her, mm-hmm. but they're not necessarily telling her how they plan to court her, pursue her, I guess. Yeah, I yeah. No, I, feel, I feel what you're saying. Um, I think it was a, in my opinion, I think it's a bad question. Yeah, maybe she didn't um, phrase it right. Yeah, she, first of all, she didn't phrase it right too, unless I think it's a bad question. I mean, this, this guy is going to, Court you based off of your interaction and what he's what his intentions are. Mm-hmm. That's what the courting is, is going to look like, and that's going to change by situation. Right. As y'all continue to know each other and get to learn each other and see what you know, what he don't like about you, what he do like about you, and so forth. 
So that's going to look different for every man. So I'm not sure that a man can just tell you exactly how he's going to court you because that's going to, that's going to be determined on how you guys interact with each other. Mm, okay. So yeah, I just, she didn't phrase that right. Mm. And it's, it's not a, it's not the right question to get the type of answer. I think she's trying to get. Mm. Yeah. Door, take you out, going down, showing you know, time, 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 time. So I just think taking that time to understand you and know what you like, we like to do. And that's what we go from here. So. Engage, that's your question. My name is Sagun and 30. My high school. I got effort and insistence. Got to buy that pressure. You got to go for it. You got to go for it. Attention. I'm tired of it. I'm kind of in my mind. I'm going to apply the pressure for it. So I think pressure for sure. Name and age and that's your question. I'm 29. I think uh, chivalry is not that I'm a very chivalrous person. And uh, so I'll do that. And also interest, show interest, um, you know, pay attention to what she likes, what she doesn't like. Right. Thank you. Okay, that's just some good response. Let me ask this question just based off something Brother just said. Um, is chivalry dead? He says chivalry is not dead, but I've seen a lot of folks say chivalry is dead. They say fem they say feminism killed chivalry. Mm, feminism killed chivalry. Mm, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's what I hear. I hear when women began to request equality with men, right? Then why should he now have to open your door? Why should he now have to, you know? Um, pay for the meals all the time like why pull out your chair like why does he have to do that you want it to be equal mm, that's real okay well, y'all drop a comment let us know is, is chivalry dead is chivalry dead <laughs> so it is time to pop two balloons uh-oh okay let's make it one one balloon Okay, so why did you have your balloon? I'm hot right now. She left her waist at home. Oh, period. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, why did we end up popping it in? Um, I, I like the outfit, but I feel like your face was not like. I was just more about your face. So, it's like you like. You know, so I, like I, wasn't, I, wasn't, more of a, I wasn't a fine actor. Did she say his face? She said his face wasn't very interesting. He didn't look like he was. Oh, he didn't interested. look like he was interested, but he was the one talking about applying pressure, right? Yeah, he's saying it now. He's the one talking about applying pressure. He wasn't interested. Man, let me keep on there. Then what did he say? She left her waist at home? He's trying to give a little compliment? Yeah. Mm, okay. Pressure. Yeah. So I know, like, meeting, like, outside, a guy's going to be like, you know, but it was like, so it, that was it. too, too nonchalant. Yeah, it was kind of nonchalant. Yeah. All right. Let's go on over here. So you ended up popping. Why is your popping balloon? Yeah, it's the make belt. You know me, Arlette. We know. We know. <laughs> it just seems like too much. Again, there's a line that I draw. Right. Okay. No, I understand. I love the energy. Thank you. This is still okay. Thank you. It's a little too much for you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now is he someone that's your type? Oh yeah. Yeah. Like I know a lot of women live like tall, but I'm very like open and high. Okay. Yeah. Nice skin complexion, and I like the outfit. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Take a pop back here. Pop in. Like we pop our balloon. It's okay. Uh, it was really just, uh, I don't even like know what exactly you want. Yeah. 33. Yeah. I'm 28. I yeah, I understand. Things, you know, just, you know, figure it out. All right. So, I'm just not trying to waste your time. Right. You know, you know, you get married and stuff. So, you know, you seem like. Not tomorrow. No, no. <laughs> you seem like you're about your shit. So, right. You know, just, yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for your honesty. Of course. Yeah. Now, it's Kendall supplement your time. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I like the outfit. You look well dressed. Handsome. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So we do have two balloons left on pops. Go ahead and ask these guys another question. 
Um, can you give me like just one word that describes you? Just one. Just one. One positive thing. The word count. One word. <laughs> Uh, Karen. Thank you. Let's go over here. One word. Inspiring. Inspiring. Ooh. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. What about for yourself? What would you describe yourself? Um, I'm very, um, I'm a very determined person. Like, like I'm set up in school. Mm -hmm. I kind of start started school pretty late. I started like at thirty. So, education is like nothing. So, yeah, determined. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Guys, any questions for Karen? I got a question. To your best of your ability, what do you think your purpose is? Um, I think my purpose, honestly, is beauty. Um, I'm, so I'm going to school to be like an aesthetic nurse. So I want to be like more like do like the Botox, the fillers, like just. So we don't understand purpose. No, clearly we don't understand purpose. We don't purpose. understand purpose. We don't understand purpose, purpose at all. Purpose can't be beauty. Purpose is beauty. That's yeah. that's her goal. Her goal is to be in the beauty industry. But what is your purpose, right? Mm. Mm. Okay, that was a good question, actually. Those are the questions that really help you tell a lot about a, people, part, a person's personality. Yes, they do. Make people look pretty. Because a lot of people always say, oh, you're so pretty, you're so pretty. So I want to like make money off of that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't mind, that's what you do. I'm dying to see them. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Show, show people. Show people. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You're, you're a jewelry guy? No, it's oh. the, the boy outfit is just amazing. Thank you. Know, you. Just from the earrings to the watch to the toe. <laughs> I, I, I don't have a foot fetish. I'm just not. <laughs> but the toe and the nails, we just everything. Thank you. Really good, so thank I can you. tell you for a lot of but, I did. I wanted to look good for y'all guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Any questions over here? No. No, no questions? No. Uh, I did have a question. Okay. Well, um, where do you like to travel to? Like, you know? Um, honestly, I like to do international. I was supposed to go to London, but it didn't happen. But only places I've kind of been is like Vegas, Cali, Boston. <laughs> Like kind of like just in the U.S. Yeah. What kind of places do you like? Um, so I've been in Brazil, been in Italy, Jamaica. Oh, um, you just shut me down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I probably plan on going to Bahamas or Bali, uh, Bali next year. So that's probably one of my goals you know, wow, next year. So okay. plan on doing that. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right, girl. It is time to talk about Oh my God. She got to bring out stuff. Why did we end up popping his? It was hard. I don't know. I honestly don't know. It was, it was hard. It was very hard. Okay. Like your instincts were on point. Um, you're very handsome. I love ball men. So, I mean, hey. it was just hard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Robert, you gave her quite a few compliments earlier. So, why did you have your balloon on top? Well, I mean, of course, she knows she's a good woman. Right, but also that you're career driven as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I, have a, I have an AI company, and uh, it's an ed tech company. So I really value education. Right. And uh, I'm learning. So when I heard that, okay. So that was it. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, of course. All right. Okay, Cliff. Come on up here. <laughs> <laughs> Any final questions between the two of you? Um, where are you from? Um, I'm from Texas. Um, I'm originally from Marshall, Texas, but I stay in Dallas. Is that a good uh, right uh, Where are you? I'm from Las Vegas. Somewhere oh, there. nice. I love Vegas. <laughs> okay. Yes, thank you. Okay. Well, then, is it going to be a yes for you for her? And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got it! <laughs> Thank you, 
Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Oh, welcome in. What's your name? Hello, my name's Khadija. And how old are you? I'm 30. And what do you do? I'm a flight attendant. Okay, very nice. Uh, what are some things like to do for fun? I love to travel. Okay. I like making home cooked meals and I like spending time with my family. Nice. Uh, what are some things you look for in a man? Ah, uh, man of God. <laughs> mm, okay, that's a good one. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, if you don't drink water. <laughs> Okay. If you don't care about your health mm -hmm. um, and if you lack respect. Mm, okay, good ones. All right, so we have not got any pop balloons. Okay. So I am going to actually go ahead and hand you a pick. Okay. Hold on to that. And for this first round, let's go ahead and have you pop two balloons. Okay. Based off of what you're seeing, whoever's not really your type, whatever it is, go ahead and pop those two. Okay, and then one more. I'm sorry. Okay, let's start over here. Your name and age? How you doing? My name is Anthony and I'm 29. Nice to meet you. And Anthony, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? <laughs> Very good. And uh, ladies in the comments, why why y'all been popping old boy with the ball here? He done got literally popped every, <laughs> every single time. Every single time. What's wrong with old boy with the with the ball head with the little gray and, and mixed gray shirt on? Like, why he getting popped literally every single round? Yeah, somebody let me know what's 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 your issue with old boy with the with the gray shirt on? Like, what I mean, what, what is? What is it about ball heads? Like, we don't like we don't got no love for. Ball but they're not doing that. Them. They ain't doing that to um to uh true. white shirt. White but shirt. But that just proves true that women will have a preference right but if the guy's that guy they'll completely ignore the preference hmm. okay all right we're gonna see or just like you got my attention when you first walked out uh, i love what you got going to dress your smile is amazing so yeah thank you okay all right and now why do we end up popping anthony's um, I popped Anthony's out of everyone just because I felt like I had more of attraction to some of the other contestants okay. physically. So, okay, sounds good. Appreciate Thank you. it. Now there was one more. Let's go over here. Your name and age, and why'd you have your balloon unpopped? Lou, I'm 33. Is uh, really I, I like her hair. Uh, she's seen put together and uh, like her teeth as well. So. Okay, nice. <laughs> thank you. You have really nice teeth too. <laughs> and so, why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, I think Anthony's very attractive. Um, oh, this is Lou. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lou's very attractive, but I, I'm really big into health and wellness, and so out of everyone, he didn't look the most fit. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so we do have four balloons left. Go ahead and ask these remaining guys another question. Uh, if I could not see what you looked like and all you had was a sheet of paper and you could write five things on it, how would you describe yourself? Okay, start over here. Name and age. Kendall 28, are you saying like just one word or? Uh, five things. Five things. Uh, someone that's ambitious, uh, someone that's genuine, um, somebody who's uh, very caring, uh, gentlemen, that's four right there, right? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I would say somebody, uh, I'll say a protector. Okay. okay. All right, thank you. Let's go on to our next guy. Okay. Your name and age and the answer to your question. My name is Robert. I'm 29 years old. And so the question was, what are five characteristics about me? So first is adventurous. Um, second is mm, caring, um, passionate. Um, that's three, right? Okay, that's three. Uh, honest. And also um, genuine. Okay. Those would be my five. Thank you. Let's go down here. Your name and age and the answer to your question. My name is Sekou. I'm 30. My five would be I'm spontaneous. I'm creative. What's my man named? Robert? Mm -hmm. He putting in that work. Hey, Robert putting in that work. Take, take note. Robert putting in that work. He he feeling old girl. Mm, I don't know. You don't think so? Because well, Robert gives the same energy for every girl that comes out of her though. So mm, I feel like he gives the same energy. I feel like he gives I want to be chose energy, but then he's not always interested. But he still gives that I want to be chose energy. 
Okay, we're gonna see. Okay. We're gonna see. Native, I'm a singer. I'm an RB singer. I don't know if you went to that. I sing too. Uh, okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would say that I'm, you know, really determined. Uh, I'm really goal oriented as well. And uh, you know what? I'm humorous. You know, I, I could kick it a little bit, you know. Okay. Okay. Let's head on over here. Name an agent to answer to your question. My name is Agnell. I'm 29. Um, let me see. I like to try new things. Um, goal oriented, goofy, um, ambitious, and adventurous for sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. That's a really good answer. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it is time to pop a balloon. Let's go ahead and pop one of them. <laughs> you got this. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, you can stay right there. So why do we end up popping his? I popped his balloon just because out of everyone, I really liked his answers. I think he has beautiful skin, but he was the shortest, truthfully. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Why Wow. Is he short? No, he's taller, he's taller than her. Because the wow. other girl said the same thing about his height. But ladies, is he short? Ladies, this Am height, I tripping? No, he's taller than her. Ladies, this height. It boiled <laughs> down to like, I, all of you were really great, but it boiled down to like, okay, what's one thing? And yeah. that was just one thing. Okay. So I'm the, sorry. The taller the better for you, huh? Um, Not always. Uh, I think that it depends on the person, but within this time that we have, that's what I had to Fair narrow enough. it down to. Fair enough. No, no. How tall are you? I'm six foot. Okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, why, that's why I said that's crazy. I'm but. in the run of my family. Like, my brother is 6'3". My dad oh, wow. was like 6'4", so I'm the smallest. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, very beautiful. Um, great smile, great hair. Uh, I love that. You're Fellas ain't got a chance. So now, now they turning down six foot dudes. Oh. I thought the requirement was six figures, six feet. Now they turning down six foot guys. Whew. But then she also said it's not for all guys. So some guys got to be six mm -hmm. feet and above and, and some. I told you. Man. He must not be that guy. Y'all need to stop. Into health as well. I'm very big on health and, you know, taking care of your health. So that was cool. But yeah. Thank you. It was very nice meeting Good you. Good to meet you too. <laughs> Okay, let's ask the three remaining guys another question. Um, hmm. Let's see. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Okay, let's start there and work our way back. Okay. All right, if you can go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I would say Trinidad. My dad is from Trinidad and I've never been to Trinidad. So I'm really interested to go and see my roots and see what like a side of my life that I've never discovered. So I say Trinidad. My mom's from Jamaica though. I don't know if that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm Jamaican and Trinidadian. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where would you go in the world and why, right? Yes. So I would go to South Africa. Um, okay. I lived in South Africa for about two years and uh, it's the most amazing time I've ever had. People there are just amazing, uh, food, culture, and, and you really get to see where we came from. And so um, just connecting back to our roots um, and uh, also just understanding that, you know, in a, you know, a lesser country, they are able to enjoy life more, right? And just knowing that people are so happy and genuine without much. So... That would be my answer. Okay. <laughs> All right. And over here, your name and age and answer to your question. Uh, Kendall 28. Uh, I was going to say Africa, but I'll just switch it up. I would say Greece. Um, mm -hmm. For me, I just like the feeling of it's just a beautiful country. And I just like the peaceful aspect of it and just like just the way the water looks and stuff. Like for me, water is very peaceful. You know, like go over there and meditate. I pray by the water and stuff. So just really just feeling and stuff. So, yeah. I like okay. Greece. What about for yourself? Where would you go um, and why? <laughs> I really want to go to Bali. I was supposed to do a retreat there mm -hmm. um, in the beginning of the year for a few months. Oh, nice. And so I really would love to do a fruit fast 
and just connect and meditate and stuff like that. So, okay. Well, it is time to pop a balloon. Okay. So, which one out of these three guys' balloon are you going to be popping? I'm sorry. I really <laughs> want to hear you sing now. Okay. Let's come right here. Okay. So, why did we end up popping his? I popped his just because out of the three of them, um, they gave me more of a mature vibe and I am 30. So I am looking for someone to settle down with and start a family and get married. So got it. All right. And Seiku, why'd you have your balloon unpopped for her? He's beautiful. Thank you. I like her vibe too. She got a good vibe. She got a good little get down too. Okay. Fuck with her. Nice. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. Our two guys left. Any questions for our beautiful lady here? I got a question. Okay, start here, then we'll go to you. Uh, you good, you good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Again. All right, all right. <laughs> um, what would you say is one thing you learned from your last relationship that you would want to bring into your new relationship? That I would or wouldn't? That you would. That I would want to bring? Yeah. Um, better communication. I can say in that relationship that I was the one at fault, um, and I can own that, and I can say that I had difficulty having hard conversations. Did she just take accountability? Wow. I wish I could give her a hand. Man, did she just say did she just say what she did wrong and was she was she corrected? She or was she wants to correct going forward? I can't wow. believe it. Salute to her. Salute to her. Rarely does that happen. Mm. Mm, okay. Salute to her. Um, and through therapy and just work on better boundaries and like realizing that I have to look outside of myself and value what my partner needs in that moment that I can say, hey, I need a little second to think before we talk um, without dismissing them. So that. Oh. Are you somebody that shuts down when things get tough? I used to be someone who shut down. Um, I'm not anymore. And it gets tough sometimes like owning that and like making sure that I stand and saying, hey, I'm going to have these conversations. I'm going to figure it out now. Man, she talking like a grown woman, man. She really salute is. Salute to I her. Say. I so, got to say. <laughs> she said she's 30. Salute to her. She talking like a grown no, woman she boy, who done learned some things. She's definitely intentional. Yeah, salute to her. Yeah, she gonna, That's probably uh, like the most honest answer I've heard. So then now I can go ahead and make my uh, esti estimation now. So I know who locked in on her now. Who? Watch out for white shirt. Oh. Okay. Any questions here? I like to keep it light. And I'm so curious to what made you become again to the aviation industry? You know, uh, what drew you to that? Um, honestly, uh, I was an unaccompanied minor growing up. Uh, my dad was 50 when I was born, so he was a little older. So he didn't really travel with me. So I'd always go down to Florida every year. And I just thought it would be really cool. I thought I'd do it for a few years, explore the world, and then transition. I have a degree in marketing. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It is time to pop one of these guys' balloons. Can I ask one more question? Oh. It's not, it's okay. Go ahead and pop. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> I, said, I gotta look at all your eyeballs. <laughs> I know it's tough. We're about to go. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, I saw it was really hard. Why did we end up popping his? I think he sounds like a really great man, but I really did like his smile. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, Kendall, why'd you have your son pop? Oh, she, she had great energy. Uh, I like your smile, too. So, Thank you. I feel like we could have had, like, you know, some great conversation and stuff. You know, you have a very opening, welcoming personality. So, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let me have you scoot on that way. Robert, come on up here. Come on up. <laughs> All right, y'all. Any final questions between the two of you? I have none. Uh, I was put the ring out real quick, uh -huh. man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, no questions. Yes. I don't have any other ones. All right. Man, Don't do too much. Quit, quit playing, bro. <laughs> quit playing, bro. What do you say? Pull the ring out. Oh, man, so yeah, yeah, you're doing too much, big fella. Hey, well, then, is it going to be a yes for you for her? Definitely yes. Yes. Is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a match. <laughs> I'll take this mic Thank and you guys you. can go on off. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs>
<laughs> Let's give it up for them, y'all. Give it up. <laughs> Thank you everyone for tuning into this episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. If you'd like to be featured in any. Oh man, man, shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all for joining us. Um, yeah, we wanted to come on here and do this review, man. Um, so yeah, shout out to y'all for joining us. Let's say once again, Quay Price holding down for Candy Convos. Coco holding down for candy combos, man. And like I said, we're gonna see y'all on the next one. Let's say drop a comment, let us know what y'all thought on everything. And uh yeah, we'll catch y'all in the next one. What's good? It's your boy Quay Price holding it down for candy combos. Man, if you enjoyed this video, man, go check out this next one. <laughs>